Hey there, everybody, my name is Kid, and welcome back for another video of Horizon Forbidden West. We're going to continue this series. Now, I've went ahead, like I said I was going to do, I went ahead in between the two videos, uh, this one and the last one. Went ahead and did a lot of side quests, boys. All the side quests that I actually could do. I grinded the, the game a little bit in. Also, if you look at the map, I've uncovered all of this. And I went all the way towards the Parent Light, which I actually did some side quests that were over there as well. There's another one available right now, but I can't go there because I gotta get past. I gotta open the doors first. And in order to open the doors, you gotta do the embassy thing for the main quest. So uh, we're gonna do that today. And um, I as keeps him level seven. Basically, we spent all those points. I've got uh, one of those points to be able to mount. I uh, have a mount now. Uh, so the way it works is I just got to go to one of those monsters. I'm not too sure which one, but one that looks like that with a yellow thingy. And um, I, I can basically tap tap the little button, the square, and I guess I should be able to mount it. Uh, if I'm good enough, I add it. A, a lot of hunter skills as well that I've upgraded and mostly warrior skills. For the most part, that's pretty much it. We're about to talk with uh, Wallace boys, and uh, we're gonna uh, interact with him to just to tell him that uh, we're ready, basically to do the uh, whole embassy thing. I want to un unlock the rest of the map, or at least most of the rest of the map. And uh, also, I do have brand new costumes, two or three of them. I've decided to uh, wear this one today. Uh, I like this one the best so far out of all the ones that uh, they gave me. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I've out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I but I'm worth three like escorts. Like you don't need to worry about orders. anything. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Alright, so this guy really I don't like him at all, boys. Really don't like him. Such an annoying freak. Oh, I did level up by... Wow, okay. Two skill points. I think every time you level up by one point, you get basically two skill points, which is fantastic for me, I guess. I don't have anything else to do in the downs. I actually got a, another skill point randomly, I believe, just for the mission being completed and stuff, which is really great. I actually got some more missions I can do. Yeah, I've already unlocked more missions. Okay, well, here's the thing. We're going to uh, right away equip my skill points. What do I want to do with those skill points? Is there anything in particular here? So, lasting override. Increase the amount of time a machine remains overridden. To override a machine, approach it and undetect it. Knock it down or stun it. Got you. A machine damage. So, override machines deal more damage. Oh, so you control them. I don't really care about that, boys. I really don't care about the uh, control of machines or whatever. Healing myself is doesn't matter too much for what it's one of the rare ga rare games where I don't really care about it. Uh, we're gonna do spread blast. Why not? It takes two of those points, skill points. So we're gonna do that one, and uh, we can do weapon stamina as well, I, which I don't really want to do right now. Valor surge master. Let's just do that, I guess. Why not? There goes all the points, boys. Yeah, if I decided to start upgrading the uh, the points a little bit more often for the the actual um, arrow thingies for the range, because uh, I do end up fighting a lot of uh, range most of the time. I think my main part is just to go to Baron Light, right? Override a charger? That's like a side quest, isn't it? Yeah, it's an optional thing to do, so I don't need to actually override a charger. I'm not gonna do it. I can actually fast travel there now to the Baron Light, which I'm going to do because I've unlocked it. Well, here we are. So as you can see, this is Baron Light right here. I don't need to do the charging over uh, charging or whatever. 
I don't need to take a look around. I've already looked at everything. Actually, my stash. Might as well look at it. Maybe I've got some stuff. Actually, not. I do have uh, some outfits that I could probably try and hide. I've got some valuables to sell as well. As you can see, I've got plenty of money. I, I think my money is the 400 thingy on the top right. Let me see if there's any uh, armors that I can stash. No, actually not. Can't stash any armor. Okay, got you. Well, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move on, boys. What already looked in here? There's, there's some new side quests and everything. I like can do anything that's side quest wise, like I said earlier. Let me do my own free time. Well, look who it is. Look who uh, it is, boys. Aaron's made it up there. Gentlemen, that's our cue. You ain't taking the edge off. Well, I can't put my foot in my mouth again if I'm pouring booze on it, right? Let me guess. You're in a rush, right? Whatever you need, ask away. Well, uh, how have you been, Ursa? I don't really care how he's been. I mean, we've already talked to him, right? Ursa? What about Ursa? Who's that? I'm kind of confused, boys. The Embassy? Baron Light? Uh, what about the Embassy? What do you know about the Embassy? Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. All right, next up. Um, how have you been, actually? Well, you, we might want to ask him, I guess, how has he been? Since we did argue last time we saw, uh, saw him. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. All right, and the rest is all the same, really. I'm just gonna say I gotta go because I've got nothing else to tell him, really. Not really interesting in talking about the Baron Light or Ursa. I'm just a blunt instrument, wrong tool for the job. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me. I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Don't count on it. But be careful out there, Aloy. Well, what I said last time to him, I guess it took... He took a heart to it, I guess. Like good that. lord. I didn't good mean to, uh, stuff. to literally, uh, make him sad yes, and dr drink himself to death, almost. Well, oh well, boys. Let's just talk to uh, uh, Lawan, whoever uh, this is. Apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar, and Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort really seems to like his scrolls but the embassy remains delayed commander nozar has signaled our readiness but the tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn all right fine let me through the gates then i have my own business with them i'm sure you do but i'm afraid i can't commander's orders i just Normally beginning to be annoying voice for any who dare to venture you just out. want to get past um, salvagers a few especially brazen karja but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. They'll reopen. Once the Tanakh have left. Well, about uh, Tanakh marshals, about the embassy. I don't care about any of those. Where is Nozar? Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him. But I have to warn you. 
The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Yeah, I think he was thrilled. Not in the right way, I guess. But, uh, you know, Alvin can... Uh, can, can go somewhere else because Sir? he seems like a bad dude boys he's been creating a lot of problems for the side quest a lot of people have been talking about him in the villages boys and i don't like it he's like a really bad dude and i have to handle him eventually i think so we want to talk with no uh nozar uh, nozar because, uh, because we want to convince him to open the goddamn what gates can you expect from barbarians <clears throat> Ah, oh. Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be kept. Shut up. Why the delay? <laughs> Man, I like her. The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three She's, I, I like her voice. Her character is crazy. She doesn't, just she just wait. doesn't give a fuck. And I love it. Uh, oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. Follow the complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. I'll wait. I'm going now. You know, the way she's been, she's always saying the, to the priest to shut the hell up. And uh, she pretty seems like the kind of girl that doesn't give a fuck about anything. So, you know what? I'm not going to wait. I'm going now. Fuck you, man. But I've waited long enough. Whatever you think, I'm, I'm going in. Not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to. Who said this I was going to listen to you? What is he doing? Oh, okay, there he is. Took his time to arrive. After last time, we literally abandoned him. All right, get, let me pass. I'm going through. You don't want to fight me. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn grows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Should we run this way? Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's what happening? Is, I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. Oh my. Try. Supporting fire. Try me, bitch. Locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Vol. You are not coming with me, my guy. Made it just in time. Oh my god. Not him again. He's back, boys. Well, guess we're not alone anymore. Unfortunately, we're Did stuck with Vol again. About the Tanakh. We need their permission to go west. Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in. It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh well. Now at least you have some backup. 
I don't need backup, but uh, I guess it's fine. We'll see how it goes. As long as you don't talk too much, I guess we'll be fine. I really don't like Varl, boys. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you. And did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? Do I look like a child to you? The you younger than me, my girl. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. We need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Oh. Think you scare me with that goddamn weapon? Put it away, uh, child. The truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just him. Alongside of many other Meridian things, I'm called. Shav. Yes. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun People. But such an association with the Karja could work against you, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. What do you say? I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Well, you can't have a reassurance about that one. Uh, you're probably going to regret it, but uh, either way, you're going to let me through. Uh, tattoos, don't care about that. Uh, you and the Tanakh? Yeah, since when have you joined them? From what I heard about the king, you were supposed to be uh, held ta captive, my guy. Not uh, literally uh, having parties with them. How did you come to be among the Tanakhs? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. I mean, I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't want to know. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Well, desperate measures. What type of desperate measures? I mean, uh... So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate. Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, 
When they flung me at Hikaru's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaru stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the Kurut. Little did I know what I was in for. What about the cool road then? This is a long story after all. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena and only the strongest survive. So it's a gladiator thing. Okay. It is no easy thing to stare down a child. Doesn't sound so bad. Hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. All right, and what way exactly will your service be? You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, the marshals are Hikaru's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. Well, they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Kaja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Which tribe are you, then? So then, are you still Kaja? Part of me, yes. Always. But there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. All right. Well, that's enough for now. I don't need to know more about the chief. Uh, at some point, I mean, there's only so much we want to know. Uh, so, uh, going home. Uh, how do you feel about going home exactly? Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. So he wants to be an amb ambassador, my basically. Mountain, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. All right. Well, that's all I need to know, really. So uh, I need to write a passage right now. You asked why I need write of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Actually, it's just me. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. 
allies are essential. Chief Hikaru knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. Because All right, thanks for the uh, well, advice. See you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! you. Look! The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Oh, they're ready for the embassy, I guess. Then I'll be on my way. No, the other marshals will not permit it. If you wanted safe passage, you have it after the embassy. Okay, I guess I gotta wait. And I'm stuck with Val, man. That's the most important part. Is I can wait, but being stuck with Val all day. Are you shitting me? The Karja have opened the gates. Or at least the embassy is about to begin. It's about damn time, boys. I mean, from all I've heard, that tribal, those tribes are not so bad. I mean, sure they've, they're killing a lot, but they don't seem uh, so bad to me. I guess. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today. Is such the fuck is that? Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Takaro has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. This girl needs to go away. She's ruining everything. What the hell is wrong with her? Threats to intimidate us. Exile. You are kidding me, man. They're really gonna go at war in the middle of an embassy, you idiots. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Uh, from me? Silence, I guess? They're not, I'm not the only one, I guess, who knows that. With us now, or not at all. What? That's not how it works. MSC is not even over. What the fuck? Holy shit. Alright, well. This went this went down real quick, boys. Archers! Keep them back! Am I gonna just stand there and watch? Fuck am I doing? Just go at him. Left flank to the car show. Run them down. This is a problem. I'm just standing there watching. Yo, Val, you might want to do something as well. Like, seriously, what the fuck are we doing here? Why are we just watching them get destroyed? This is ridiculous. Open the gates! Open the 
Don't open the gates, you motherfucker. They're gonna destroy the entire civilization. There we go. Dumbass. He deserved that. He said fire at will. That the, that means you fire, you asshole. The hell? Are, no, everybody's incompetent right now. What the hell is this? That would have uh, that would not have happened if I was there to literally st like stand up for them instead of just watching as a spectator for some reason. What the hell, boys? Well, I can't see, all right. Why the fuck are we doing nothing? Hey, calm down and fight fair. Well, that like that's going to work. Take the center. Get ready. Well, I guess it's our last stand now. Hey, you take you can take Vol if you want. I don't care about him. Just kill him and leave, al leave us alone, please. That's not gonna work. All right. Then fight then. Let's go. Uh, where are they at? Right there? All right, here they come, boys. I'm going straight in. I'm actually gonna use my grenades. Boom, bitch. Oh, shit. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, ch hold on now. I need, uh, I need more uh, archers. What is going on? Let me fight. Full on battle, full on warfare, boys, right now. Oh my god, everybody is literally dying. Yo, am I gonna do something? Fuck. I feel like such a spectator right now, not doing shit. All right, let's go defeat these monsters. Anybody else? Where's the uh, Where's the rest of them? Oh, they're right there. I need to craft some more. Hold on, just need to craft some more. Okay, got you. Let's Let's just go in, boys. We gotta fight actually properly. Just gotta fight properly. That's gonna work out uh, that uh, that route. Yo, chill out. Get these fucking monsters out of here. There we go. More of them, boys. Watch out now. Enough. You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Sure. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. What's so special about him? Yeah. What is he, Mary Poppins or something? What the fuck was that? Whatever. I never see a shield like that. Come at me, my uh, bitch. Come at me. Let me craft some arrows. Watch out now. Whoa, now. Okay. How about that? Boom. How does that? Uh, how does that sound, buddy? Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Oh shit. All right. Come at me with all you got. Okay. And I've got another arrow for you. Okay. Is not gonna. Is it not gonna work? Got you. You're dead. Easy enough. That all you had, buddy. Really all you had. Your turn. Come down here yeah. And face me. Unless you're a coward, why don't you come face me? It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life to this. 
Is that's just another phrase to tell me that you're a coward and you want to run away? What a li bunch of little bitches, boys, just running our way as soon as they see they're losing. This embassy went to shit real quick, boys. Everybody dying on all bo on both sides. Somehow, Val's still alive. Of all people. with Aaron for now well, at least I'm not gonna be stuck with you I'll take you back to the fort All right, we're going to stop it right here, boys. Seems like a good place to end it. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.